Hello, I'm James Porter. I'm here to speak to you today about split charging using our range of DC-DC battery chargers. Now, split charging is a very complicated subject. For a conventional electrical system, i.e. a standard alternator on a standard vehicle charging standard batteries like AGM batteries or on a boat, I would normally recommend one of our smart bank split charging systems. However, if you wish to charge more exotic battery types like lithium-ion batteries, especially if you've got a mixed engine start battery which may be AGM and you would like to use a lithium-ion battery for your auxiliary, or if your vehicle is a Euro 6 compliant vehicle and features SRCS smart regenerative charging system, you really need one of our DC-DC chargers. Now before I get into the individual features and benefits of our DC-DC chargers, it's quite important to understand why we would recommend these in the case of a Euro 6 vehicle or a vehicle which has got a lithium battery fitting. So to understand that we need to know a little bit about a standard charging system. Now a standard charging system features an alternator as we've just said with an output of about 14.4 volts. When you start the engine up the output is continuous at 14.4 volts so from that what we can do is we can trigger voltage sensitive relays um, battery combiners etc and the way that they work is that you fire up the engine the engine battery starts to charge it reaches a trigger voltage we then connect in the auxiliary batteries both charge up together and then when you start discharging the batteries they will disconnect so that you can fully discharge your auxiliary battery without compromising engine startability on your engine battery now when you're trying to charge batteries of different technologies the AGM battery requires very different charge voltages to the lithium battery in the rear of the vehicle and that's why you can't connect them together in a standard split charging system. In the case of the Euro 6 vehicle, the alternator works in a very different way. As well as the alternator on board the vehicle, there are various other things that will generate power, usually things on rotating parts of the vehicle like the uh, brake discs, brake hubs, and so when you hit the brakes, generators on those will generate a very high amount of current to charge batteries. By doing that, that means that the alternator doesn't need to be running, it saves several horsepower and saves fuel. The problem is, is that when you hit those brakes, those brake hubs generate very high current and high voltage, but for a very short period of time. It's got to go somewhere, and it needs to go into the chassis battery. So the engine ECU and the OEM engine manufacturer system keeps the engine battery at a low state of charge on purpose. And it's not unusual to see, even with the engine running, voltages on the chassis battery of 12.5, 12.6 volts continuously. And then the vehicle is going to be charging when it can. That means because you're not seeing a higher voltage of 14, 14.5 volts, there's never a trigger to bring a split charging system on. And again, that's where you would use a DC-DC charger. So when we use a DC-DC battery charger, we recommend our ABSO DC-DC range. These units are available in three different types. We do a 12 to 12 volt DC-DC charger, rated at 30 amps continuously, or 50 amps continuously. We also do a third unit, which will take anything between 12 and 24 volts input, and give 24 volts output, which means that you can use it to charge a 24 volt auxiliary battery bank from a 12 volt engine system. The key feature of our DC-DC chargers is that the rating is continuous rating. They don't derate when they get hot. We have tested 15 of the leading DC-DC chargers on the market with quite shocking results where we saw a 60 amp rated unit actually derating itself down to about 18 amps. Our ABSO DC-DC chargers, a 50 amp unit, even when it's very, very hot, derates to just 48 amps. So the system we've got set up today shows a lithium ion battery being charged on a vehicle with a Euro 6 split charging system and a conventional AGM engine start battery. Now, for this one, what I've used is our PowerCell lithium 100 amp hour battery. Uh, this is actually subject to another YouTube video that we've done. And also one of our full river, full throttle, pure lead engine start batteries. Now, this little battery here is capable of sitting in a freezer overnight and jump starting a full transit. Now, what that means for people who are building uh, RVs or for, for boats is it means that you don't need to cart around such large engine start batteries uh, just to start the engine. So you can put one of these little fellas in instead and use that additional space either for payload on a vehicle if weight's a problem or 
um, for putting a larger battery bank in. But it is conventional technology, it's a standard AGM battery. So what we've got here set up is that we've got the engine alternator. In this case, I'm actually using a 60 amp battery charger to emulate the engine alternator. This is charging the engine start battery directly. We have then got a power feed from the engine start battery to our DC-DC charger, from our DC-DC charger to our lithium ion battery. So we've just switched on the battery charger, i.e. just switched on our engine, and you can see we're delivering 60 amps down to the engine start battery. The DC-DC charger has now fired itself up. And what this is doing is this is taking the power from the chassis battery and delivering a three-stage smart charge to our lithium battery. Now, the charge program that the DC-DC charger has in it is specific. Um, it can be set up for lead acid, AGM, gel or lithium batteries and we also have a custom program on it so that if you have anything a little bit more exotic um, or your battery requires a very specific charge profile you can set it up in the DC-DC charger. So it really is as simple as that. We've got a positive input to the DC-DC charger, we've got a positive output from the DC-DC charger. The unit has two modes, it will either fire itself up and run automatically or there is an additional terminal inside the unit that you can connect to the ignition switch um, and in the case of a Euro 6 vehicle you have to connect the ignition so when the ignition switches on it arms the unit and when it senses that the power in the engine battery is sufficient it will fire up and start charging your auxiliary battery in the back. So looking at the connections inside the unit, I'll just take the front cover off. You can see within that we've got a positive input from the engine battery, a negative from the chassis and then we've got the positive out to the auxiliary battery. Now you also notice there's a couple of extra wires that we've got connected here. The first is a temperature sensor. This temperature sensor is fitted to the top of the lithium battery. We would always recommend temperature compensated charging for lithiums, especially in vehicles and especially where they might be in the back of the vehicle and where it can get very, very hot in the summer. It's very, very important that we uh, have a temperature regulated charging system. The other wire that's connected here is for the optional remote panel which will allow you to monitor and set up the DC-DC charger. This is more really suitable for boat use. People would like to, like, like to see that on their chart table. On a vehicle generally people want a fully automatic system. You'll also notice two other wires, these small positive and negative, and you may have noticed the solar panel. This is one of our semi-flexible solar panels that's suitable for both use on an RV, a work van, or indeed on a coach roof of a boat. They're designed to be walked on. This is a 100 watt panel. Built in within the DC-DC charger is a maximum power point tracking solar regulator. Now that regulator can deal with solar panels of up to 500 watts. So you can put quite a large array on the roof and your DC-DC charger will look after that as well. So it means it's one less box, one less piece of electronics you've got to fit. This unit will sit there and manage the power from the alternator to charge the auxiliary battery and also the power from a solar panel. As you can see, the unit is very small, lightweight, compact, it's fully automatic. The product is in daily use in critical use applications on both fire engines, police cars, ambulances, and we've also got many boats out there now with lithium batteries on board which are using this as one of their primary charging sources. If you'd like to come and have a look at one of our DC DC chargers operating, you're very welcome to come and join us here at Exeter in our showroom. Alternatively, if you take a look at www.merlinequipment.com, download a data sheet. Also, if you telephone us on 01202 697979, either myself or my colleagues will be very happy to talk you through the product. I hope you found this useful. Thank you.